My name is Neil, and as you can see by the playlist this is in and the head and the title, this is the start of deep of my deep learning of my deep learning um, series. So I just finished doing gradient descent with normal Python. Right, so you you know uh, if you haven't seen it then go back to some of my videos watch them and come back because I'll be referring to it a lot so gradient descent isn't only used for its prediction it's also used for machine learning because there are different weights and biases in the nodes and those need to be tweaked so then the end product can be different can be reliable and normal. So it's trying to mimic your brain. Your brain has different uh, cells and then one fires with some message and then when it reads the other one it has some condition and if that's true then it fires and that and then there's multiple that come to it and it goes to multiple, and it's complex like that, and it goes on and goes on. I'll explain it in more detail later, but right now I'm going to give you an introduction to the specialty of NumPy and PyTorch. Um, I think I've told you about NumPy, yes I have. When I was talking about Pandas, yes. Pandas is based off NumPy. So, NumPy has has a uh, like data frame like things in pandas but it also has some other interesting things that pandas doesn't offer you so you know in a cpu you have different processors with normal python you only use one processor and you have to loop if you want to do something over and over again but with numpy it can tell a bunch of processors to do one thing for it so that it can have it quicker. But the thing that takes the most time, you have to distribute it, give the instruction, they do it, and then you have to collect it. So this is called SIMD. This is what it's called. So, imagine, so, I'm here. I need to do something. I did it. Let's say random numbers. I'm distributing, I'll distribute a bunch of random, uh, I'll distribute random numbers to everybody. And then I'll tell all of them, everyone, add two. And let's hit them. So, I'm a teacher. Distribute random numbers. Tell them. Multiply by 2. Add 2. Subtract 2. Divide by 2. That won't get us anywhere. But multiply by 3. Square roots. Square. Blah, blah, blah. And then, after children, give me all the answers. Then I can have everything. So, this is very... Cindy is very, very useful. Because then here... When you have NP, which is NumPy, uh, you know, you can do import NumPy as NP, which is like, it's easier because, anyway, NumPy.rand, dot .rand int. This gives you a random int, but it's special because it's NumPy. So, this is the range. This is the minimum, then this is the max, and then this is the max. So that is how you do it, right? And then you have it random. And then you can tell it to do a bunch. So then I believe you do NP dot um like uh 
it, it depends what you it depends what you want to do with it but it's like some, some like flow value or something that's like it's like uh if you want float then it's like flow and stuff i forgot but yeah it it has that and after the float thing then it has n which is the number of times and this is point rand dot rand it when, when I show you the programming, uh, I'll show you like what actually happens. But yeah, the, this is basically what happens. So uh, you have this, and then yeah, this is the exact same thing here. So in this, this is what you use for. This is where NumPy has Cindy, like this, and then you can create. A table uh, which yeah you can create a table with you can create an array which in NumPy it's kind of like a special list so that now let's start talking about PyTorch so PyTorch is basically the same thing but it allows you to use the GPU with this and some other cool things I'll tell you, it is a very popular, it's very popular for usage in deep learning. So, instead of what NumPy has one dimensional arrays, when you create the ten tensor, which is torch dot tensor, also uses SIMD. So this is really similar to NumPy and it still uses SIMD. So tensor and this is the uh, column. Columns and rows. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's columns and rows. So it's two-dimensional. So we won't need two-dimensional in gradient descent because we're going to be converting it into NumPy and PyTorch. So it will be running very, very fast. Or faster. It is still, uh, when we set it to high numbers, it won't be so fast, but it still is a great improvement. So this is a tensor. And it's basically a two-dimensional um, array. So, now we have one popular thing. You know how we do the differentiation um, uh, with calculus to find out the slope? Remember, average, average slope error? So, when we calculate it, you do difference the differentiation which is differentiation of this the the loss which is basically the error but it's called the loss by d of a because this is loss and this is a and you calculate this now with pytorch what you can set a couple things and then it will do it for you automatically. But it's not like, oh, less code, less code, it's okay. But it does it in its own way with complicated mathematics, which you have to learn in PhD, in PhD mathematics. Um, and it's very complicated, so it's more efficient. So this is a brief overview to NumPy and PyTorch, which we will be using to convert gradient descent and then use gradient descent for a neural network which will help us put the little nudges so that it can learn. Thank you. I'm Neil Kumar and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.